All right, today we're going to talk about the new function instance that is in the Left 4 Dead 2 authoring tool. I've been playing with this for a few days and I've got it to work a little bit. Um, so we're going to start with basics. If you've uh, checked the deadline two maps out already, you'll see things like uh, uh, setups of props that look like this. They have this shade over them or this color over them. And if you click on them, it doesn't tell you what props are in it. It just says function instance. All right. <clears throat> so, to use these, first you're going to want to set up your file structure. That's the most important thing. Go to Common Left 4 Dead 2 SDK Content Maps RC. In there, you're going to have you know all your VMFs. Uh, if you're starting a new campaign or whatever, make its own fo a separate folder for it. Uh, this one, I'm using the Tutorials folder. Uh, inside the tutorials folder make yourself a folder called instance okay and in here we're gonna save all of our instances of course alright so once you have that set up you are going to go file new and you're gonna build uh, your instance here I'm just gonna use one of my prefabs um, to speed up the tutorial and I'm going to place it dead smack in the center so now I got a police car with lights okay and we're going to go to file save go to your campaign folder into the instance folder and save it. I'm gonna name this one Popo Lights One. Save it. Okay. And now you've created an instance. So now I'm gonna go back to my tutorials map. I'm going to the entity tool. Entities and I'm going to place a function instance okay now open the function instance you're going to see VMF file name click browse and it's going to take you to your maps SRC folder and just navigate your way to your campaign folder and to the instance folder and then I just did popo lights one I uh, copy that Then you're going to type instance forward slash and then paste Popo Lights 1 and press apply. And now we have our function instance in the map and we're just going to set it in place. and there that's simple you can also use the fix up name if you say you want to use that same thing 10 times in your in your map to give them each separate names to help with randomizing and stuff like that you can use the fix up name um, so this is a prefix so it would be a prefix so if I put a one it would be called one popo lights one instead of popo, just popo lights one and so on and um, that's it. We'll run the map and see what it looks like. If I can stop the video. And, and here <coughs> you have the police car and the other instances I had placed in the map before. Including.